Good job entering the pattern. You are now on the upwind leg. Keep the power down and monitor your airspeed and altitude. The next leg will be the crosswind turn, taking you 180 degrees left to put you on the downwind leg. Use the turn to clean off any excess speed so that you're below 200 mph on the downwind leg. You're now on the downwind plane. Maintain airspeed around 160 mph and altitude at 1,000. Lower the landing gear by pressing G. Watch the landing gear warning lights panel to make sure you get the green light. Press the F key twice to set the flaps to 20 degrees down. The next gate will be the start of your base leg, leading you through a descending left hand turn toward the final approach point. Control your airspeed to make sure it stays below 160 mph final approach. We're now lining up for final approach. Press the F key three more times to lower the flaps all the way down. Maintain 120 mph on final. Minimize side slip and trim for a steady approach. If you find yourself getting into trouble, add a little power then raise the gear and flaps to climb out and go around. Speed looks good. Keep it around 120 on final. As you approach the threshold, prepare to reduce power and flare the aircraft by gently pulling the stick back. You want a gentle touchdown at about 90 mph. Carefully reduce power and continue pulling the stick back for a gentle flare. Try to make a three-point landing to avoid a bounce. Use careful Z or X rudder commands to roll down the center of the runway. Do not use the wheel brakes unless you have to. Set throttle to idle power at 1000 RPM. Continue to roll to the next available taxiway to the right. Press and hold left shift plus C to open the canopy. 